Man City vs Arsenal clash postponed as some stars forced to self-isolate. Wednesday's Etihad Stadium clash is first Premier League game to be postponed due to coronavirus after positive test from Olympiacos owner Evangelos Marinakis, whose side played Arsenal in Europa League. The Premier League game between Manchester City and Arsenal on Wednesday has been postponed as a precautionary measure due to the coronavirus outbreak, with several Arsenal players required to go into self-isolation. It is the first Premier League game to have been called off as a result of the deadly virus. The move came after a positive test for COVID-19 was returned by Olympiacos owner Evangelos Marinakis, who was at the Emirates Stadium when his side played Arsenal in the Europa League on February 27. Arsenal said they had identified that a number of players met the Olympiacos owner immediately following the game. The club said the risk of those players developing COVID-19 was extremely low, but added that affected players and staff would follow government guidelines and self-isolate for 14 days. That self-isolation period is due to end on Thursday night, with this weekend's trip to Brighton still set to go ahead. A statement from Arsenal read. The medical advice we have received puts the risk of them developing COVID-19 at extremely low. However, we are strictly following the government guidelines which recommend that anyone coming into close contact with someone with the virus should self-isolate at home for 14 days from the last time they had contact. As a result, the players are unavailable for tonight's match against Manchester City, and the Premier League has decided the game should be postponed. The players will remain at their homes until the 14-day period expires. Four Arsenal staff, who were sitting close to Mr. Marinakis during the match, will also remain at home until the 14 days are complete. Arsenal said tickets bought for Wednesday's scheduled match would be valid for when the game is rearranged. The Premier League said the postponement was linked directly to Marinakis's infection, and there were currently no plans to postpone other matches. A statement from the league read. Following medical advice, Arsenal FC and Manchester City FC consider it is necessary to postpone their fixture due to be played this evening to give time to fully assess the situation. The Premier League has therefore agreed that tonight's game will be rearranged. We understand this will cause inconvenience and cost to fans planning to attend the game, but Arsenal, Manchester City and the Premier League have agreed that the short notice of Mr. Marinakis's infection means there is no alternative but to take the time to complete a proper assessment of risk. Wolves, meanwhile, are incensed to UEFA has decided not to postpone their scheduled Europa League tie at Olympiacos after Marinakis, who is also Nottingham Forest's majority owner, announced on Tuesday he had contracted the virus. The Premier League side's appeal to have Thursday's last 16 first leg called off was rejected by UEFA and the game will go ahead behind closed doors as the spread of coronavirus continues to affect sporting events. Virgil van Dijk makes Liverpool admission ahead of Atletico Madrid clash. Virgil van Dijk believes the time has come for Liverpool to show exactly why they are the most feared team in the world. The Reds stand on the verge of adding the Premier League title to their world and European triumphs. Yet a troubling run of three defeats in their last five games and some indifferent form has left their Champions League hopes in the balance. One of those defeats was to Atletico Madrid, who have a 1-0 lead from the first leg of their last 16 tie. And Van Dijk says Liverpool must show the class that has taken them to the pinnacle of world football. He said, We have to be grown men about it, take it on the chin, and show the world why we deserve to be where we are. We have to show why we deserve to still be in the Champions League. But we know it is going to be unbelievably difficult. Atletico will bring a fiendishly tough challenge to Anfield for the second leg tonight night. They are renowned for their defensive excellence and grimly parking a whole fleet of buses. Van Dijk accepts Liverpool were not good enough in the first leg in Spain three weeks ago, but believes the time has come for the real Liverpool to stand up and be counted. The pressure is always there, said the Holland defender. The thing is when you don't get good results we don't get many, but we have had three in the last five, and the outside world can talk like we are in a relegation battle. It is what it is. We have to deal with that. We were disappointed as we didn't want to lose. I think we got dragged in a little bit. And obviously that is the quality from them. They created chances too. It could maybe have been 2-0 and we didn't create much. But we know we have another 90 plus minutes to make that right. We will try everything. Van Dijk has also called on his teammates to channel the spirit of their remarkable semi-final triumph over Barcelona last season, where they overcome a 3-0 first leg deficit with a historic performance at Anfield. Only one goal is required to take this tight at extra time, but Van Dijk says the same mentality will be required.
he said. We couldn't give any chances away against Barcelona, either. We will go with the same mindset as always. Hopefully win the game and play good football, but first and foremost, we have to deliver a lot of passion and hard work. We have to get everyone going from the first second to the last. We all want to show why we want to go through with our qualities and deserve to be in the next round. But we know Atletico will be tough, they are one of the best in how they play. They are aggressive, together, and they have fantastic players who can hurt you on the break too, so we have to have a fantastic night, all of us. Hopefully we can go through. We have some time to prepare and we have to be ready for a very difficult challenge. Everyone is looking forward to this game, and we all want to go through to the next round. We will try everything. Michael Owen makes Liverpool vs Atletico Madrid Champions League prediction. Atletico Madrid head to Anfield with a one-goal advantage after their narrow win over defending champions Liverpool last month, but must survive the Anfield cauldron to go through. Michael Owen has backed former club Liverpool to whip up some Champions League magic at Anfield to progress past Atletico Madrid. The two sides meet in the second leg of their last 16 tie on Wednesday, with the Reds a goal down on aggregate. Atletico stifled Liverpool in a shutout at the Wanda Metropolitano three weeks ago, earning a 1-0 win, thanks to Saul Niggas's goal. Liverpool struggled to muster many efforts on target and must now score at least once without reply in the return leg to avoid being dumped out of the competition. Owen told Bet Victor, the first leg in Madrid proved to be very frustrating for Liverpool as they fell to a 1-0 loss. Now, I can't see Atleti's tactics being effective in Anfield. For me, Liverpool are always going to score on European nights in front of the cop. One concern for Liverpool would be the fear of Atletico scoring on away soil, which would leave the Reds needing to win by two clear goals. Liverpool have been noticeably lax in defence in recent weeks, conceding nine goals in their last five matches. They have been boosted by the return to fitness of captain Jordan Henderson however, who is expected to feature in the second leg showdown. Henderson injured his hamstring in the last clash with Atletico and has not played since. But the midfielder was back in training on Sunday and Klopp is looking forward to welcoming him back into the side. For sure will be good to have him back, Klopp said. And some others as well. By others, Klopp will no doubt be referring to full-back Andy Robertson, who missed the weekend win over Bournemouth as a precaution. The Liverpool boss said after the match on Saturday. Robbo should not be a problem, he only missed today pretty much. He finished the session yesterday after afterwards felt something, but it was then nothing in the end. Liverpool among Premier League clubs monitoring Anderlecht youngster Jeremy Doku. Anderlecht's Jeremy Doku has scored three goals and provided four assists this season, as Liverpool continue to monitor his progress. Liverpool are reported to be among several Premier League clubs that are interested in Anderlecht's teenage prodigy Jeremy Doku. Belgian newspaper Het Nieuwsblad claims he plans to continue with the Jupiler Pro League site until the end of next season, and that the Reds are the current frontrunners to sign him in the summer of 2021. Doku has shown, scoring three goals and providing four assists in the league this campaign. It's believed that the champions elect in England have been following his progress for a while. According to his parents, Jurgen Klopp tried to get him to come to Anfield after suggesting he could become Sadio Mane's successor. However, the 17-year-old committed his future to Anderlecht in February, signing a new contract that will keep him at the club until 2022. But the Belgian team are aiming to get as much as £17 million from his future sale. Het Nieuwsblad state that Liverpool are still monitoring him as they bid to boost their attacking options in the future. Gary Lineker fears end of football season after Man City vs Arsenal news. Man City's Premier League clash with Arsenal has been postponed as a precautionary measure to help prevent the spread of coronavirus, and Lineker is fearing the worst. Gary Lineker fears it's the beginning of the end of the football season after Manchester City's Premier League clash with Arsenal was postponed. The game was called off as a precautionary measure to help prevent the spread of coronavirus after Arsenal's Europa League defeat by Olympiacos. Several Gunners stars are in self-isolation following the last 32 clash after it emerged that Olympiacos owner Evangelos Marinakis, who had been in contact with players, has contracted COVID-19. Reacting to the news, a philosophical Lineker tweeted. Manchester City vs Arsenal is postponed. Off to Liverpool but can't help feeling like it's the beginning of the end of the football season. It's not clear whether Lineker is suggesting the season could or should end now. 
Olympiacos players were tested for COVID-19 after Maranakis contracted the virus. On Wednesday the club confirmed that the players tested negative. A statement read. Olympiacos informs that after the required medical exams to which all the members of the football staff, players, coaching, medical and technical staff of the team, as well as all the board members and staff, were submitted, all the tests came out negative for the COVID-19 virus.